What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sativ, and today we're going to be talking about add-ons. I know earlier in the season I released a video that was my Warlords of Draenor add-on guide, but that one simply is missing out on some of the ones that I'm using now, and a lot of people have questions about what I'm using and how I've got them set up, so, you know, I do what you guys tell me. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here's a list of the add-ons that I currently use for PvP. There's two of them here that I only use for Garrisons, Garrison, Mission Manager, and Master Plan. If you're curious what those are, I suggest you just install them and check them out. But working from the top down, we have Arena Plates, Bandit's Guile Helper, Extra CD, Gladius, Lose Control, Omni CC, Power Interface, Tell Me When, and Trufy GCD. First on the list is Arena Plates. What Arena Plates does is take the spot where your level is showed on your enemy nameplates and replaces it with the number of their arena. So in this match, the Warrior is Arena 1, the Rogue is Arena 2, and the Paladin is Arena 3. So next up is Bandit Skyle Helper. What Bandit Skyle Helper does is count the Sinister Strikes you've been doing, basically. So as you can see here, I'm 2 in. One more Sinister Strike will put me into green buff. From here, it continues all the way up into red, and once you hit red buff, it'll start counting down. Sidon's pretty useful for, like, if you're waiting for your kidney shot DRs on somebody. Like, let's say you're waiting on this DR, right? Next initial strike will push you, and now you know that. So you're like, just wait, dude. Just, no, just hang on. Alright, now you could push it, and then you could hit him with a full kidney. Moving on, we have extra CD. Extra CD is this little guy you see here next to my other buffs. And what it does is light up your procs when they are active. But the part of this add-on that's more important is it tracks the duration of the internal cooldown for you so you can know when you should expect it to be available to proc. Because all your, like your agility trinket has an internal cooldown of 45 seconds since it procs and uh, this will count the 30 seconds after it's down to show you when you can expect it. Again, this is something that can be useful for like trying to line up your bandit skyle with a big killing spree. Similar concept as the bandit skyle helper. My proc trinket should happen any second. I can expect it to happen and sure enough as soon as I killing spree it go ahead and procs. Let's take a look at gladius. Gladius is an add-on that can show the duration of offensive and defensive cooldowns, whether or not your enemies have trinketed, and the length of crowd control effects on them. Similar things as diminishing returns, their health, how much mana they have and what they're casting, is also displayed by Gladius. Lose Control is an add-on that will show you the duration of crowd control effects on your character's portrait, uh, as well as your teammates. If you have the party frames shown, you'll see the duration of crowd control effects on your team. And another thing that it shows is things like Cloak of Shadows or uh, defensive cooldowns like Evasion. I uh, guess it didn't work because I had Cloak overlapping it. But yeah, that's what Lose Control does. It also puts a little thing here when you get crowd controlled, though I have that disabled currently and I'm using the basic Blizzard in game one just because it's up to date and it has all the correct effects, like the Feral Druid stun. Lose Control doesn't have the Feral Druid stun, so... There's just little things about Lose Control that were bugging me, and the way you get Lose Control to work is you make sure you load out-of-date add-ons. That's all you have to do. Any add-on that says out-of-date, you load out-of-date add-ons, and if you're not getting spammed by Lua errors, then you're okay to use that add-on. Some add-ons that are out of date, you'll load them up and they'll just be spamming you with errors. Those are the add-ons you can't use that are out of date, but lose control is okay. Next up is Omni CC. What Omni CC does is display a number overlap on a lot of things. Like here you see the number going down. Um, similarly, you'd see it on my character portrait. See Adrenaline Rush show up? No, here. Man, I have no CDs to show you guys. Sad boys. I know what I can do. There we go. So this number is shown by Omni CC, and then the overlap is showed by Lose Control. So Omni CC is another add-on you'd want to get. I know Blizzard did put an in-game one. I don't know if it works with uh, Lose Control, 
But the one thing that I do really like about Omni CC is the number is red when it's getting close to being finished, as you can see here. That's just one reason why I use Omni CC still. Power interface is what I use to move my bars and hide all the crap that I don't want to see. Um, you can actually use my exact layout just by pressing this button here. That's all it takes. Um, you can also disable the action bar modification, the class icon showing, and you can turn off the macro text here and make your bars look all neat and clean. Finally, we're moving on to Tell Me When. Now, Tell Me When is a pretty simple add-on to set up. I've got a empty one here to show you guys. Maybe I should actually take the main thing and show you guys how to get these squares. So when you install Tell Me When, you'll have these right here. You just right click, pull out a little guy and split it into a new group. It'll leave you with these squares. You can adjust the size of the squares, make them gigantic. If there's some kind of buff that you're having a hard time tracking, you can make it freaking huge when you don't have it. But I mean, that's kind of redundant for me right now. But I'm, I used to do that on my Arcane Mage, when, or my Frost Mage, I didn't put up Evocation. But uh, yeah, let's move on to how to track something. So what you do is you right click it and you click the scroll down menu and click buff or debuff. We're going to be tracking a buff called Faint. So here's Faint. You right click it to get the number in there and you hit enter. Okay. The target is self. We're tracking it on ourselves. It's a buff and we want to show a timer and we want to show some text. Okay. So let me hit TMW again, and there we are. We just set up elusiveness. I'm going to show you guys how to set up slice and dice in a similar manner. All you have to do is type slice, find the one that's for rogues. With certain abilities, you might have to troubleshoot a little bit to find the one that is actually your class's skill, but I mean figure it out. You know, you can do this for any buff that you want to track. I do recuperate, slice and dice, and faint. I also use tell me when to track rupture or revealing strike. So we'd be going with debuff here instead of buff and we'd be putting it on our target. We'd be going with revealing strike. That looks like ours. I'm pretty sure class abilities are always this color right here. That bluish color. Uh, show timer. Show timer text. Alright, we have revealing strike. So we hit him with the revealing strike, and there he is. He's revealed, and slice is rolling on us. And, uh, you know, we've got elusiveness going and recoup up. Tell me when is really straightforward to set up. Though sometimes it can get tricky when you're trying to do things like subterfuge. Because you have this, and then you have this. And I'm never sure which one's which. I know one of them is the actual talent, and one of them is the skill. So the one I picked right there was the actual talent. So I'd switch it into the skill. Subterfuge. So the purple one is the skill, I guess. There, see? And then we open up Tell Me When. I'm opening and closing it really fast. Is you just type slash TMW and it pops open the uh, interface for you. Well, this is basically the end of the video because the only one left is Trophy GCD. There's quite a bit of setup for this add on. You have to hit up Trophy GCD and show the anchors. What you will then see is the positioning for everything. When you first install it, you're going to have every single thing. Party 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, you'll have target, focus, player, arena 1, 2, 3. You have everything everywhere. So you have to go into the options and turn all that off and keep the ones that you want. Switch the direction of certain ones, reposition them how you want them, and then click save. Or, uh, sorry, just click this thing to hide the anchors again, and you're set up. So, you've just sat down and watched a long video of me yammering on about add-ons. 
I respect you for that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, I want you all to do me one very important favor. I want you to go into Arena with a positive mindset, ready to improve your gameplay, and come out on top of those hard situations. Take care, my friends. Good Gaming, an e-learning and social networking platform built exclusively for gamers and designed to turn you into an eSports champion. We give you the tools, resources, and support to game better. Instructional videos and e-learning guides give you access to powerful strategies and the secrets of the pros so you can dominate your opponents. Our exclusive mercenary system gives you access to personalized support for offer your own services to the highest bidder and compete in exclusive Good Gaming online tournaments to win cash and prizes. What are you waiting for? Become a Good Gaming member today. Good Gaming, revolutionize your game.